Imagine a world where the legal systems we rely on today, everything from the rights to property, to how we define justice, to the very structure of our courts, stemmed from a single monumental work compiled over a millennium and a half ago. This isn't a fantasy, but a reality. Thanks to the Corpus Juris Civilis, a collection of laws commissioned by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I in the 6th century. This corpus not only preserved Roman law through the Dark Ages, but also laid the groundwork for the legal frameworks we operate within today. At its core, the Corpus Juris Civilis was an ambitious project to streamline and consolidate the vast array of Roman laws and legal opinions that had accumulated over centuries into a coherent, and accessible system. Under the guidance of the Juris Tribonian, the work was divided into four main parts, the Codex Justinianus, the Digest or Pandex, the Institutes, and the Novelli. This compilation was not just a reference for legal professionals of its time, but a foundation that would support the development of Western jurisprudence for generations. The influence of Justinian's legal reforms extended far beyond the Byzantine Empire's borders. During the Renaissance, the rediscovery of this corpus in the West sparked a revival of Roman legal principles, fundamentally shaping the civil law traditions that are prevalent in continental Europe, Latin America, and parts of Asia and Africa today. It's a testament to the Corpus Juris Civilis's enduring legacy that its principles have also seeped into the common law tradition, albeit more subtly, influencing the development of legal systems around the world. But the Corpus Juris Civilis's impact isn't confined to the past. It plays a critical role in legal education and scholarship, serving as a primary text for teaching Roman law and influencing legal reasoning and analytical skills across generations. Its methodology and structure inspired national codification movements such as the Napoleonic Code and the German Bürgerliches Gesetzbuch, demonstrating its lasting influence on the evolution of codified legal systems. Moreover, the principles and concepts derived from the Corpus Juris Civilis still find their way into modern legal arguments, particularly in cases involving fundamental doctrines or property law. Its influence extends even to international treaties and legal instruments, where its principles have been cited in discussions on sovereignty, treaties, and diplomatic relations. In a world that often feels disconnected from its historical roots, the story of the Corpus Juris Civilis reminds us of the deep connections that bind our present to our past. It's a vivid illustration of how ancient wisdom can shape modern life, guiding principles of justice and legality that remain relevant across the ages. As we navigate the complexities of contemporary legal challenges, the Corpus Juris Civilis stands as a beacon of the enduring power of law to order society, resolve disputes, and uphold justice, a true cornerstone of civilization that has withstood the test of time. Imagine the depth of influence a single compilation of laws has had on the global legal landscape. This narrative not only underscores the timeless relevance of Justinian's legal reforms, but also highlights the continuous thread of legal evolution from ancient to modern times. Thus, the Corpus Juris Civilis serves as a monumental testament to the enduring legacy of legal tradition, showcasing how the foundations laid by Emperor Justinian continue to influence and shape the legal systems and principles we hold dear today. As we close this journey through history, exploring the indelible mark left by the Corpus Juris Civilis on our modern legal systems, it's clear that the wisdom of the past continues to shape our present and guide our future. This exploration into Justinian's monumental contribution underscores the enduring power of legal thought and the importance of understanding our legal heritage. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey, and thank you for watching.